Yo, before we get too far into this video, I do want to let you guys know that we are doing a giveaway right now for this 2018 Laramie Longhorn loaded out, mega cab, all the fancy stuff you do and don't need, sunroof, reclining back seats, I mean just everything. And we also have some new items on the merch store, coffee break edition, style coffee mug, 16 ounce tumblers, truck's a little bit dirty, I do apologize, but let me show you around it really quick. Like I said, it's the Mega Cab four wheel drive 2018, brand new. Awesome truck, anyways, if you want a chance to win this beautiful, beautiful beast, or a five speed four wheel drive first gen in top condition, use this link or a link down in the description. Every $15 is another entry to win this truck. Ends December 5th. Yo, what is up, Latin Proud Crowd? Hopefully you guys are absolutely excited. I made that intro really short about the giveaway because I know some people don't like me trying to market my business and my brand for whatever reason, so I just try to keep it really short. But anyways, we are gonna be working on the first gen today. Beautiful, beautiful truck. New hoodies, new uh, coffee mugs, which turned out awesome. But uh, we got some parts in for the truck. We got some head studs right there, which we're not gonna be doing today. But we also have the intercooler, the 7.3 intercooler. So I'm gonna take that out, see how it looks, see how it fits. We're gonna have to get some tools probably um, I'm imagining I'm going to I'm imagining I'm going to need to buy something to cut through that wall uh, to make it work, but I don't know exactly where it's going to sit on there, so I'm going to try to mess with that real quick and uh, see how uh, see how it lines up. We also got in the bank's twin intake. However, I don't know if we're going to be able to put this on because it was a twin, and I canceled the order thinking like. It was, you know, it was early enough. It was just the very next morning I canceled the order on it, but it still showed up. Um, uh, so, you know, that's just one of those deals. I don't know if I want to return it or if I just want to keep it because eventually I would like to pee pump this truck, just not right now. It's just not going to fit in the time frame um, that I'd like it to. And it's just not something like, since I can't do all the work on my own, if I pee pump, I'm gonna have to source out the work. Then I can't even film any of it. I'm just spending a bunch of money to build a truck and I don't even make videos with it. So it's kind of like, I'd rather do the work myself, which means this wasn't gonna work out because of the um, non-intercooled first gen VE pump, you know, style fuel lines on it. It just, it's just not gonna work. But I might keep it still, but if I don't, I did spend like $650 on the kit. Um, it comes with the double intake plate and all your, I mean, just everything, the whole kit. It's the whole, the whole nine yards. But um, I also wanted to stress to you guys that for this build, other than the Anthem wheels, which I so absolutely love, there's no sponsorships on this. No Mishimoto sponsorship. There's no, there's no injectors and Governor Spring kit. There's no like power sponsorships. There's no twin turbo sponsorship. Like nobody is touching this truck with sponsorship stuff except Anthem. Nothing under the hood is going to be sponsored. Um, just real quick. I don't like feeling like I'm getting screwed over and I don't like people taking advantage of my platform and my audience that I so dearly care about and then just kind of like leaving you hanging. I hate that kind of crap. I just decided with this truck, now if I find a company that I absolutely love down the road, maybe I'll partner with them. Um, but for now, I was just like, I'm not dealing with that crap. I'm gonna stick with Anthem because I absolutely love Anthem. But other than that, everybody else, you're out. You know what I mean? Just like, I'm done with it. Like having to please people, use their parts, mark and write, like it's just done done not doing it so um, we're gonna get into this uh, build I'm gonna open up these parts and see how it looks and see how it lines up and hopefully it lines up pretty good there's no real specific reason why I went with any of the parts that I did um, I just did some research and got stuff that I thought was gonna be best for this truck based on some research done in forums and everything else trying to get advice and um, some better input on parts and recommendations when me, trying to meet certain horsepower goals. So that's just kind of where I got my information from. I'm no diesel mechanic, I'm no professional. I'm just doing this because it's fun and I, and I want to do it, that's all, okay? There's no competition with anybody else. I'm just my own person doing my own thing. That is awesome. Who doesn't like new parts? Boom, we've got our intercooler installed. Totally kidding, no we don't. But I did get everything off that I wanted off to line it up 
exactly where I wanted it with the spacing on those brackets I kind of use as a reference point and also the spacing up above on each side is kind of what I use to um, uh, center it up and then also of course the spacing along the um, sidewall I guess you could say kind of of uh, where this will and won't work and now there are a couple of small things that we're gonna have to do but I'm going to uh, take this down really quick but that's where it's gonna sit okay and so if I decide to put the bumper back on, that's where it would stay um, regardless. But then again, I might not put the bumper back on. I might just put the grill back on. Um, and then that support that goes across, if the support will fit once this is fully snug up against um, where it's going to be staying permanently. So um, what we're going to have to do is get a grinder to cut through here. now. There are a couple small supports, like the support that holds the shroud and the radiator here kind of in place. That support, um, we're going to have to cut through as minimal as possible. But we are going to have to cut through it. Um, and then also, because we just don't have any other place to really go with it, if that makes sense. Um, not too much, but we are going to have to a little bit. Then also this support kind of on this side, right here, I guess I just have the uh, transmission cooler hanging there on some string so it's all out of the way at least for now until i officially decide what i'm going to do with it i just don't want to go and plugging stuff and not knowing you know which side is up and down and you know whatever not, i don't know if it matters or not but i don't want to get anything mixed up but um so yeah that's the plan for that that's where that's going to go i might have to cut these brackets off like right here on each side and then just drill a hole through the center here maybe put like a bushing for a spacer here, but then run it straight through this wall and then just run a bolt on the back to hold it, to support it from the up position. And then down low here, do the same thing, but just drill through. Um, this is kind of like a, it's obviously, cause this isn't for first yet, but I'd have to drill straight through here and then run a bolt through there with a bushing. That's the same up top, so the spacing is nice and even. Um, and so it's not rubbing on anything on the inside or the outside but we want it to be as snug as possible safely so we can put the grill back on hopefully but even if it doesn't to be honest this truck is literally just a play truck it's just for fun like that's that's literally the whole purpose of the uh of this build is just for sheer fun so um anyways guys so that's what we're going to try to do i don't think i have anything here to be able to make those cuts this evening i've been out here for about three hours now ripping off the bumper and the condenser and much of other small, just random crap, and cutting bolts and stuff like that, holding the bumper on. But um, yeah, I'm not sure if I want to go and get some more stuff, keep working tonight or not. But um, regardless, it's a good start because I know what I'm going to do now with this intercooler and how, how I'm going to center it up. The only thing I don't know for sure is what I'm going to do with the transmission cooler. But other than that, I think the, I mean, it's not going to be the easiest, you know, thing, but I don't think it's going to be too difficult to make this intercooler work, that's for sure. That's where she sits. Okay, so I got the intercooler back up. And let me kind of show you what I just did because you're probably wondering what the heck we're doing drilling holes that close to the radiator. Um, all I was doing was I took a screwdriver once I had this propped up and I marked my upper, lower, and side point as to where I'm gonna have to make my cut. So I marked those out and I drilled those a little bit high and far around where that's gonna need to be done. But just so like I have a visual and even spacing on both sides so I know exactly where I'm gonna have to complete my cuts to make that fit in there. And then these, I'm probably gonna have to cut them off. Like I said, probably right up, right at the bottom there on both sides. Uh, but then once I get the holes cut, that should slide into place. Um, and then I'll decide my spacing based on what I think is necessary. But I do have some hardware here for um, running through here to mount this up once it is ready, ready to go. So hopefully it sits, you know, under this lip here all the way, which it should. There's plenty of gap in there. I mean, there's a ton of space in there now. Um, and then we can put our grill back on and that'll, that'll work out just fine. So 
Anyways, that's what we're going to do. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to finish this up tonight because it's already getting late, believe it or not. Um, even just a little bit more than I've done. It takes time. It's crazy how much time it takes to do little stuff. You wouldn't think it would, but um, I'm going to have to run and get some parts, but it might wrap up the video. Go to the hardware store, um, get some cutting tools, some other parts, some stuff that I'm going to need to finish this, um, this project at least, and then as I need more stuff, I'm going to have to go and buy it. So, um, yeah, but so far, I'm kind of, I'm excited because this is, this is going to be done in not much longer. So, uh, really, really stoked, really happy about that. So, anyways, that's where we're at. That's the update so far and cannot wait until we get this, uh, let's get this all wrapped up and looking awesome because it's it's going to be sweet guys it is really going to be awesome and keep in mind like this truck if this was like a truck this was like my only vehicle and i needed this to be completely perfect 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 i wouldn't be doing some of the stuff that i am the way that i'm doing it um, but since this is project play truck street truck first gen like just you know just i mean it's just for laughs for fun for good times i mean that's really all it's for this isn't like a drag strip truck or anything like that this is literally just for fun um, just to tinker around with in the shop and see what we can do with it. So anyways, guys, um, that's probably going to put a wrap on this video as much as I'd love to finish this. I've already been out here three hours. It's getting kind of late and I got to edit this video and do a lot of other stuff I got to catch up on. But thank you guys so much for all the love and support. Hopefully you guys are ready to see this build completely gone through and finished because it's going to be pretty freaking awesome. Day by day, I'm going to try to upload every other day to get these videos up to you guys. Um, so that days in between I can be working editing and catching up and then posting um, so that the spacing is really good with stuff and it fits into the schedule better. But we are going to be back on the build content. So thank you guys so much. Enter the giveaway for the brand new 2018 Laramie Longhorn 3500 or the 1991 first gen. Every $15 spent at this website, team-lmp.myshopify.com. Gets you another entry to win automatically. There's no fancy stuff that pops up that tells you, you know, the amount of entries or any further work needed from you. All you do is you place an order and then your entries are automatically submitted and every $15 is another entry to win. Hopefully you enjoyed that. If you did, smash that thumbs up. Leave your comments down below. Subscribe if you are new. Join the team, join the family now. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.